We knew. We always knew. We knew he was different, but he was ashamed to tell us. And then I saw it for myself. Glenn would just sit there watching the other boys. Just sitting and watching. Well, after it was that all his life he's going to be hated by everyone. And uh, the way society is, that's the way it's turned out. Um, the only people that accept him are his own, which I suppose is better than nothing. Gordon would always be watching the cricket and talking about it all day. And he loved hats and jumpers. The first real sign uh, we had that Glenn would move into umpiring tennis matches well, was the fact we could never get him out of his high chair. Well, even when he was 11, he would still squeeze in there. Scott was always running backwards as a boy. He was so fast. I thought he'd be something special. I retired it. I thought he was retired it. The biggest thing was control. He would always want to be in control of every situation, yet never directly involved. Gordon's control issues proved most destructive. He wanted to control things, but he never wanted to actually participate. Gordon Jeffries is a club-level cricket umpire, and although his movement through the ranks of the umpiring fraternity has not been meteoric, he has stood as third umpire in one state you match. Say, one of the things that makes you a good umpire. Oh. Holding things. You know, you've got to officiate the game at the same time. For example, you might have to hold a pair of sunglasses, a hat, a jumper maybe. Yeah. Imagine wearing or, or holding your own things and then having to hold all this other stuff and umpire at the same time. Imagine that. What makes you different to all the other umpires? Oh, that's easy. My signals. Yeah, yeah. The words showmanship and pizzazz come to mind when I think of my signals. Yeah, that's what the fans want. Billy Bowden, OK umpire, great signals. He's been an inspiration to me and many, but uh, I think I'm better. I know I'm better. Scott McDaniels is a VFL umpire, hoping to make the jump to the big time, the AFL. I am real close to becoming an AFL ump. Uh, it's the pre-season now, so I've just got to stay sharp. And how exactly do you do that? How do I do that? Uh, well, I'd say the most important things uh, my commentary and my nickname skills. The players love it when I commentate on the field using the nicknames that they have for each other. They love it. But uh, there's no games on at the moment, so I watch the old ones to stay on top. No way, Skipper! Good contest! Get your handball! Get your handball! Got his handball! Lay on! The ball, your ball, gone! Gave you a chance and you blew it! You blew it! But what I think a lot of people don't know about umpires is that we party as hard, if not harder, than the players. Like, last week was Mad Monday. Things got heavy. Have you ever had a shock rocket? I'm sorry? A shock rocket. It's Red Bull, no dos, and two packets of jelly crystals. Won't show up in my piss, but it still does the job. But if you really want some juicy ups, you've got to speak to the guys out west. I'm by can get you some. How do you think Ben got his shit? Glenn Sanders is a chair umpire at the local club level. He hopes to one day chair on the international circuit, even if that means having to be a line umpire first. Leaning and stretching is very important, especially for a linesman. Players also demand that calls be clear. Ball! Um, I have to be sure my vocal cords are warmed up, so I'll have a few exercises I'll run through to achieve this. Could you give us an example? Sure. Out! Out! Bolt! New balls, please! Just stuff like that, but usually louder. Glenn is hoping to make the international scene, and as such, he is preparing himself. Silencio, por favor! Monsieur, madame, do come, civil play. Quiet, please. Glenn is afraid that the speed on the professional tour will be too fast, and as such, he prepares by speed training. Yeah, I'm lucky to have a flatmate such as Scott here, who's willing to help with my speed training. So basically, I stand a line, and Scott fires balls for me to call. Uh, yeah, it's really the only way to prepare for the speed at pro level. I'm sorry, fires? Yeah, just using this. Ouch! 
Well, it's great uh, living with fellow umpires yeah. because they understand what it's like trying to be the best. Yeah, yeah we help each other out. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll play the rule game. <laughs> <laughs> Just to keep each other on our toes, you know. Yeah. Like, I'll say a number and um, Gordon or Scott will have to tell me what rule it relates to from their sport. Yeah, yeah it gets crazy. Yeah. No catches, no stumpings, no bowling air. Scott! So. Rule 6.3. Player may be reported for shaking a goal post when a player is preparing to kick for goal or when the ball's already in transit. Nice. There is a downside. We're all very competitive individuals and sometimes this spills over. Hang on. Can't take your hand off the piece and then move it again. I, I think you can. He f can't. Check the rules. Are you are you saying that I don't know the rules? This your bullshit. But most of the time, it's a pretty happy household because uh, we all want the same thing, and that's to be at the centre and in control of the games we love.